Peter Simon from electricaltradeacademy.com. Now, voltage and current are terms that confuse many people, so I'm going to explain it in the way it was taught to me by the old boys during my electrical training days at an industrial windscreen making plant way back when. Think of voltage as a dam of water, where the dam represents an electrical generator. Its weight and volume has a certain potential to force water through a pipe, and it naturally sits there as a constant potential pressure. Now like the water pressure difference between the top and the bottom of the dam, voltage is also known as potential difference. That's because there's a higher potential on a live conductor relative to neutral and ground, which is at zero potential. Current, on the other hand, is like the flow of water in a pipe, where the more water demanded, the faster the flow, while the dam just sits there applying a constant pressure. In electrical terms, that flow is the flow of electrons or current in a cable, as demanded by a connected load, which you can think of as either a single machine or appliance, or an entire electrical grid. The greater the current demand from the load, the greater the number of electrons flow under pressure from the voltage. Now the water pipe in the example has a resistance depending on its diameter. A thinner pipe has a greater resistance than a wider pipe and it's the same with an electrical cable. A thinner cable has a higher resistance than a thicker cable. Now the voltage, current and resistance, or known as impedance in AC circuits, has an intrinsic mathematical relationship which we know of as Ohm's law. The voltage and current also have an intrinsic mathematical relationship with another factor called wattage or power and we know this relationship in the form of the power triangle. We use both Ohm's law and the power triangle in our everyday work as electrical professionals and I have a separate video showing you how these work which you can find in my classroom playlist so for a deeper understanding be sure to check that out. Now if you found that useful and informative give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing where you can opt in for new video alerts. See you on the next one.